So the Phantoms win that game against the Stretton Red Hawks 5-2. Uh, great comeback turnaround. Two goals down with uh, 39 minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. James, that's a, a big turnaround and a big, a big comeback win. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's a huge two points for us. Um, obviously, we, we can't afford to go three weekends without picking up points at this stage in the season. So uh, it was nice to bounce back and uh, obviously pull through some big performances, especially in the third period from the boys um, to dig deeper and obviously get the two points, which is um, obviously much needed right now. And Nathan, uh, we'll come to you. And, and obviously, you got the, uh, the equaliser early in the period. Really important to get that goal early on rather than the Phantoms scratching away for, for 10 minutes let's say uh, do you want to talk us through it great finish yeah it's a nice pass from White he sort of picked it up and I just cut across and saw some space and took the ice and just sort of did close my eyes and shoot but saw a little gap in the catcher side so it went there and I think Slava said it was important to just come out with a start they tire they did just see against Swindon I think they were 2-2 and then lost 7-3 so we knew they were going to get tired and we just had to work work our asses off and go for them James, I don't think there's many ways of saying this, but certainly from my point of view, I don't think we played very well through, 90, through 39 minutes, the first two periods. Can you put your finger on it? I, I know you, you're just off the ice, as it were, but it's it, hard to put uh, your finger on what happened in the last 20 compared to the first 40. Um, obviously, we were fighting for it in the last 20, and we just come out all guns blazing um, and just went for it, you know, and uh, as you touched on, you know, the, the goal was huge and important to, to build that momentum and the confidence and the belief that we could go out there and the goals are there. Um, you know, the first 40 minutes, I think we worked hard, but I think maybe the effort could have been directed smarter on the ice um, in, in particular areas. We didn't get around the goalie enough. Um, we created some chances, maybe didn't take them, but they're, they're a hard working team, they're a tough team to play against. Um, why? Why? Maybe we're a little bit flat. I don't know. Maybe it was a repercussion from yesterday. Maybe it's just one of those things. It's sport, you know. Sometimes these things happen. Um, but I would say that you know that that last period. Obviously, the two points are vitally important. But in terms of momentum and confidence and um, everything else that you know you could say around that, um, it's a, it was a huge period for us. You know, to to go into next weekend with two tough games, um, and we'll have to address perhaps why that was. Um, is one of those things. Uh, I've got a few kind of ideas in my mind as to maybe why, but I'd have to perhaps think about that tonight in, the, in terms of the bigger picture and not just assessing tonight's game, you know, last night and the weekend before and the lead up to, to this weekend, you know. Um, but, you know, in sports, sometimes these things happen and it's important that we always show our character in these big moments. I certainly think you did that. Uh, I've got a question. Obviously, we on the media team, the fans, the viewers at home, they're not in the, the locker room uh, in, in the intermission. Uh, Slava, the, hair, the hairdryer, does he, does he give you some, Nathan? Uh, no, no, of course he doesn't. The thing with the guys is we, we know we know that we need to come out and put in a performance. We can't afford to have no points this weekend. Everyone's chasing us. And I think it's important that the guys said they, they're rolling 5D or whatever they are and they're getting tired. You could see in the last five minutes, they got a lucky goal on the break home of PP and we were pinning them in their end. And I think it's just about coming out, working hard and the goals will come. We just needed to tidy up a little bit in the D zone and then just go to work in their end. I mean, to be fair, the shorthanded goal was a, a, a tidy finish, but it just gets away, gets away from one of our guys in the slot, and then he's un, un, unmarked, he's on his own. Um, you say important for confidence, I, I, I absolutely agree. Your line has been scoring for fun, you know, uh, and I think one of the things, a testament to the character of the team, when needed, and this was a, a must win, you know, in my view, uh, it's going to be who blinks first between us and Basingstoke. The, the Stepanek, Sousters. McEwen line, they've they've uh, they've got four of the five goals tonight. Yeah, yeah, um, that line was threatening all game, um, and they came up with a huge huge goal at the end of the second period um, to really put us back in. And I think that's something that gave us the belief. Um, you mentioned hair dryer treatment, and, and Polly, you know, maybe brushed that aside a little bit. But Slava did what he needed to at the end of the second period um, in in a couple of different ways. Um, but obviously that line came up huge, you know, Polly's goal was huge firstly in that last period, but that line were on fire tonight, you know, they dominated, they deserved the goals. Um, and I think in the last few games, some of them have been a bit frustrated, you know, maybe the goals haven't come at the right times for them, but, you know, they're all good hockey players, as long as they keep playing the right way and plugging away. Sometimes those things happen, you know, our line didn't score tonight, um, but maybe we have them, re you know, more, more regularly recently, and, and that's part of being a good team, you know. Um, always stick into the system, always, always believe in each other and always backing each other to, to go on and do the job. Um, and it, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who gets the points, it's, it's about the team effort. Um, but that line, you know, really did help us out tonight. Good birthday present. 
<laughs> Romo messaged me early and said happy birthday and asked what I was bringing the guys and I said just hopefully just the two points so yeah, um, you know the, yeah of course um, it had been a bit of a rubbish birthday going home without, without the, the points tonight so yeah very happy well, happy Thank birthday you. from us uh, the media team the fans uh, Nathan just to finish with you uh, tough weekend next week uh, every weekend I get told he's tough Swindon and Basingstoke yeah. Yeah, these are the weekends we play for. I think it's a, it's a, it's going to have a big say in the title race, and we're up for it. We're ready to go, and we're going to work hard this week to to practice the tactics and be ready to go. Thanks for joining us. Nice one. Good victory. See you next week.